Okay, I am going to use Graphic 45's The Magic of Oz on a project. And the papers I'm going to use, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use these postcard like pages. The Journey to Oz paper. I'm going to um, do the Cowardly Lion and the Tin Man also from this this first page. From Hobby Lobby I have purchased this kind of fairly thick piece of uh, cork board and it's 11 by 17 and Oh, probably not quite a half inch thick. One, two. It's a little over a quarter inch thick. It has a good back. It has a good sturdy back. I've cut this out to fit in an uh, eight by ten picture frame. So this is going to be turned into a bulletin board. And these paper pieces are going to go on it. I've mounted some of the Graphic 45 paper on this board and cut out one of the postcard-like pieces. I'll put that on. Now what I want to do on the frame on this frame is to do a yellow brick road. I have this, I have had this for good grief ever, for a long long time. It's Stabler S-T-A-E-D-T-L-E-R and it's, it's a textures thing. So on white paper I'm going to use some uh, yellow acrylic paint and I'm going to just dab in here to create the yellow brick road and then I'm going to take pieces of it and I'm going to cut it out and then run it along the frame a little bit. Now this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock shake this paint up here and somewhere here it is right here I've got a plate that I use I'm just going to squirt some out. Okay. Now I'm going to... This is terrible. I need to get my mess cleaned up. Alright, I'm just going to set this on. On, on you know, on, on this... Boop, boop, boop. I'm just going to set this template on top of the Whisper White cardstock. Get a little yellow acrylic paint on my brush and I'm going to make a mess. So I'm using this kind of as a stencil. A wobbly stencil. Because this is acrylic paint, it will wash off of this plastic business here. These foam brushes, I buy them from Hobby Lobby in a big packet and these are these are really a good value. I think they're like three dollars, dollar ninety-nine. I don't remember what I paid for them, but there's like 
30 or 40 of these brushes in a package. Okay, so carefully lift this up. Oh, I made a mess. Oh well. So there is part of my yellow brick road. Alright, now I'm going to move this over. And hopefully I won't smear the already put down stuff too much. Oops. And come over a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to do this again. This thing, this template thing, oops, you can use chalks, acrylic paints, you can uh, get a, a makeup sponge and use inks. You can draw, take your pencil or, or a pen and run it on the inside of each one of these little things and and then color it in with your Copic markers or whatever you want to do however artistic you want to be I'm not too much for something that takes a long time to do I mean I'm kind of like quick and I prefer quick and and, uh, and easy okay so there there will be some of my yellow brick road. Now this has got to dry. This is a, an old Stampin' Up! Pastels thing. They don't sell this anymore, but they do sell something comparable to it. Alright, now I'm going to use a sponge. Just going to use a makeup sponge and I'm going to go in this going gray. Alright, so I'm going to get some chalk on the sponge and I'm going to go right over I really need a darker chalk What would happen if I add some black in there? Whoops! Well, that was a little bit too much black. But you know what? I think I like that. Hey, a happy accident! I just love those happy accidents. So now I'm going to have to do that to this side. For big mistakes. Isn't that a huge eraser? Good grief. I get all kinds of junk mail because of our business. And most of this stuff I just shred. But this thing, when I found it in the mail, I thought, hey, I can use that. So there, this side is erased and this side isn't. So you can decide what you would like, the way that you would like it. And I'm kind of going for the eraser. You know, this would be kind of a cool technique for the front of a greeting card if you have, uh, if you like doing that Copic marker stuff and have something with some flowers, having that as a background. And then put your whatever, your little kid or something. That would be kind of cool. Okay. Magic of Oz paper. There's this set of little images. 
and I'm going to be cutting them out. Okay, here's that piece that I made from that template, and I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to glue it on with Mod Podge, and I'm going to place these pieces that I've cut out. I'm going to place them around. This isn't finished. It has been handed off to my Mr. Fix-It so he can spray paint it because he's really, really good at that.